Vita. People's spirits. All the ones they've been gathering. But there are so many. You get less worked up over things. The longer you're a detective. Couldn't do our jobs if we let everything get to us. But every now and then, you still run into cases that just knock you flat on your ass. Case in point right here. Yeah, I... I get what you mean. That feeling in your chest, screaming at you to make it right. Hold on to that feeling. It's what gives life meaning. Huh? Well, very inspirational from KK. We can go through here. Can we? What's our plan here? Dang, Akito got some muscles. What is he going to do with Mari? That guy's the reason I got stuck with these powers. It's all one big science experiment. He'll use your sister without a second thought. Just focus on saving her. I mean, maybe Mari will get powers and then she can help fight the... Erika's father as well. They said Erika's father was the man in the Hanya mask, right? We can't have our lab rats scurrying from their cages. You! KK! Wait! Where's Mori? A fascinating reunion. But that will have to wait. The ceremony is soon to commence. I have no more use for either of you. It is unfortunate, but you are both beyond salvation. What are you saying? Give her back! Alas, you are too late to speak your final farewells. She has already taken her place atop the final stage. She's what? There remains work yet undone. Critical work. I shall have these two look after you in my stead. You really think this shit can bring back the dead? KK... What are you talking about? This crackpot wants to harvest a ton of human souls to connect our world to the next. His wife got sick and died five years ago. Now he's trying to bring her back. I'm sure his daughter would be so proud of what dear old dad has become. Holy... KK... What's the deal? Who are they? Forgive me. But I believe I have misled you. My wife and daughter understand me perfectly. I have but to beckon their souls back from beyond. Special credit must be given to my daughter. This barrier would not exist were it not for her. You sacrificed your own kid for this? The body is not but a vessel for the soul. Why must one be attached to a thing so ephemeral? This guy is cracked! The time is nearly upon us. I shall have her keep you company.
Wait, what? Man, you stole KK from us. Can't fight her head on like that. For now, get where she can't see you. Where she can't see me. Um when Akito is separated from KK, any actions that rely on spiritual energy are severely limited. Akito will be unable to perform Yeah, wait. Uh, he's not totally defenseless. He can still make use of it. Yeah, we already got this tool tip when we got separated the first time. So we have to hide? KK! You okay? Those tails are the source of the power. Pull them out. I'll help. Okay, got it. Try to sneak up behind her. Oh, here she is. Perfect. I get it, Erika. I really do. But I just can't. Um, get that call. She's a lot faster I than me. I just wanted to fight. Good. Long. Seriously, better come up with a name. I was just like a cat, sitting around, being taken care of. But is that any way for a person to live? No, it's not. Not at all. I'm just a cat. It's such a strange feeling. The harder life gets to deal with, the emptier I feel. But no one understands. Just a burden, always being protected. I'm a hollow shell, waiting for someone else to decide for me. Barely even alive. Not in any real way. You should stay here. It'll be safer that way. No, this is wrong. It's wrong! I deserve to live too! Now! KK! Ah, okay. That was actually very easy. It was more so a matter of just being a little stealthy, I'm but. Sorry. Suck it, I guess, Erika. Go after him. She's still not done. Stay out of this. Leave the dirty work to pro. Unforgivable. What he's 
done. It's not gonna end till he's stopped. Let's go. Right. Well, uh, rest in peace, I guess, Erika. Chapter 4, Contortion. Isn't it... I can't remember if it's 3 or 4 in Japan that means, like, death, and it's, like, a scary number. Wow, that's a... that's a visual right there. I will say, for some reason, the cutscene when it shows those spirits goes very low res. Everything else is perfectly fine, but those spirits, very blurry. What is that? You got me. Sure as hell isn't anything good, though. Hey, don't go getting cold feet on me now. I won't. Let's go. Hey, Akito, you hear a phone ringing? I sure do. You've acquired a new Kafuda. What's a Kafuda? He's all hungry. spooked because of the scary monsters. Yeah, no problem, doggy. Thank you for the money. I wasn't really doing it for the money. I was more so doing it to reassure you, but... What's up, Ed? I'm assuming this is Ed. from that key for that you got there ought to help you find some more toady gates. Just keep moving. Oh, and KK? About Erika. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I'm used to getting my hands dirty. I should have made up my mind sooner back then. Before it was too late. We can still turn this around. It's not over yet. We're a team now. The three of us. Akito is right. This fight is just getting started. Yeah. Thanks. The Bakineko Kifudo you've acquired has revealed Tori gates whose locations were hidden until now. Hunt down and cleanse these new gates to open up new areas to explore. Alright, so how much actually just opened up? Oh, wow. Bunch of side missions. I love how it does this slowly, one by one. It's like, I, I could look at these. Oh my gosh. Do you have to go through every single one? Okay, there we go, it went through them all. Alright, uh, so these two are the only ones that are actually available. Now that we can see them, that doesn't do us much good because we can't reach them. The fog will actually mess us up if given the chance. So Let's do this, partner. Yeah. Seems like we've got to do some cleanup. Uh, I'm not going to bother with side missions just because those tend to be pretty simplistic. There's not much to actually do in them. Pretty good having you around. Why? Let's just say I never knew anyone as honest as you when I was alive. 
Uh-huh. I guess I get it. Oh. I forgot I had this equipped. Sure, let's mess around with the arrows for a while. We don't kill enough people with this anyways. Albeit, I will say, for how slow it is, I can understand why I don't use it. They just get out of the way. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> bow, not the greatest unless you're in stealth, if you ask me. Alright, let's have it look for Jizo statues. That gives us more ammo, quote-unquote ammo, more spiritual energy. Oh, another uh, side quest here. Prosperity beads. Ooh, those sound fancy. Is that more Mecha, I'm guessing? More missions, wow. Prosperity Beats. Doubles the amount of Mecha gained from yellow... Ooh, that's actually, like, pretty darn good. It's just, what would I get rid of? I guess this? Oh, I also meant to check. Okay, we cleared up more space. We are still gonna have to do the Noto Shrine. If we can get these five in close proximity, this should open up, like, some big space. Alright, we got some cops with their little lightsabers up here. This one's... Something's here. Well, this. we got two of them. Yeah. We can handle this last guy. Or, last two guys. I guess there's one on the left also. Oh. This one we probably should have... Quick purged. Much tankier, using up a lot more ammo. Not that it's a huge deal or anything, but, you know, save the ammo where you can. That should clear the fog. And on we go. Incognito beads. Is this, like, better stealth? Makes it take longer for enemies to detect you. Yeah, it's better stealth. All right, what did that clear up for us? We have access to these two. All right, I know this is riveting gameplay. We can still save more. Does he actually know where we are? We might be able to get a stealth attack off on him. Cool. Plus some free money. And we get free stuff for completing these requests. Anything we care about in here? No, just outfit stuff. Expose your talismans make it easier to expose the cores of nearby visitors hit by the effect. Ooh, that actually sounds kind of fancy. Make enemies just die quicker, essentially. 
There was, uh, I was wanting to get, what was it? This guy, core exposure, extends the amount of time the enemy cores are exposed. That'd just be nice to have, like, enemies kind of chill for longer. Oh, gosh. These ladies are kind of tough. Hit her with the fire. <laughs> just throw everything we have at her, essentially. Like, yeah, she just took five fire shots on her own. They tough. Oh, little gate we apparently Search can't around. get by there. There has to be a way to get higher up. I, I'm well aware, KK. They wouldn't leave it till you couldn't actually get it. That would be get bad game design. That's say gad game design. <laughs> I speak English, I swear. of Mecha. What's it doing here? Probably for the parking meter. Well, I guess that makes... Wait, what? in one area. I'm kind of surprised they're so, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? So... dense, I guess? Sleuth beads. What do these ones do? Getting lots of new types of beads. Oh, and new missions as well. Sleuth beads. Allows you to sense KK's investigation notes. Oh, so this is to help you, like, clean up the last of the collectibles or whatever. We're not quite at that point. Let's take out this cop. Then we'll collect up that, uh, Jizu statue. Alright, now, question is, how do we get up to this one? I don't think we've seen any Tengu around. Oh, but we can climb up here. That works just as well as any Tengu. Giant seems to be guarding the tower. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem for the future. We're not quite there yet. All right, so we're slowly working our way south.
at all of the defenses here. I guess the main challenge was probably how you were supposed to get up here, but I kind of did it the cheaty way since I was already up Good. here. On in the net. Will say you can make this all a lot easier on yourself if you already have, or if you're already up high. Did I actually collect the rewards at up. that shrine? No, I didn't. Spirit perception beads. Oh gosh, okay. I thought it was about to do like a million different quests. Alright, the shrine we've actually been uh, making our way towards. What's going on? It's that giant! like a hurricane. Looks like it brought some friends, too. cornered here. Oh gosh. These ladies not fun either. No, I just took a big ol' slash to the face. Okay. Oh, pitch black all of a sudden? We're not gonna be able to get anywhere near that. The whole area is covered in fog. It'll rip our souls clean out if we go blundering around in there. So, what are we going to do then? Simple. We cut straight through. I'll lead the way. Come on. Are we, like, approaching the end of the game? Because story-wise, kind of a short game if that's the case. I mean... I I've done a lot of the side stuff on my own. Cut through the fog? Can we really just do that? Don't worry. Rinko and the others came up with a way to do it. Just have to hope it works. How are things? Can I interest you in a little work? Yeah, that work is collecting random garbage for you. If we collect one more thing, we get a towel as an outfit. Seems a little hot uh, under the collar for little Mr. KK. He won't know how to handle himself. Alright, anyways, let's remove our waypoint. What was in here, actually? Beads? Nourishment beads level 2? Legend of the Giants. Long, long ago, giants roamed these lands. Their movements brought about powerful winds, great mountains rose in their wake, and even their footprints formed massive canyons. These giants were known as Daidarabachi. Interesting. Not very helpful, but interesting.
All right, well, I suppose we collect this Jizo, get this guy, then loop back around, maybe get this one. Oh, that's a big shrine. That's a big chunk. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, like, I don't think the map goes any further out this way. We can kind of see the border of it, so these might be the last shrines. So yeah, we might be approaching the end game, which is kind of surprising. Hasn't been a whole ton of story in comparison to what I was expecting. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, it's just a little surprising. Sometimes short and sweet games are good. We want to hit up this one. This episode, not going to be super heavy on story. It's just a lot of cleaning up, like. I'd rather run into a Tengu myself. You a big Tengu fan or something? I wouldn't go that far. I just like them. Better watch your step. We'll just go into. Super Saiyan mode and mess these guys up. Alright, that was easy. Aqua beads. I think those make our aqua attack stronger. What I would like actually is um Is there like a way to make Sleuth beads flame beads nourishment beads talisman Gust beads these guys would make our air attacks like I think it's a 20% boost each time we're currently at level 2 and it's giving us 40% wind elemental attack power. So like getting another upgrade to that could make us significantly stronger. Oh, here's another one of those kappas. Let's try to lure out a kappa. Put a cucumber or kappa. A kappa. What do we do now? Stay hidden and wait until it's eating. When it's distracted, we move in. We can't rush it. You're going the opposite direction I was expecting. We move in. I understand, KK. Hopefully it starts eating soon. They are a little slow, I will say. I know it's to, like, try and catch you, trying to sneak up on it, but still. Eat up, bucko. It took the bait. Perfect. Another Magatama. This will be useful. Wait, what's it actually showing? Oh, that was my path on the map. I was looking at the mini map and I was wondering if there was another item there. Alright, let's get this big boy. Oh, hello there, ma'am. I didn't realize you were there. Oh, 
Okay, it's down. Defend yourself. You can't avoid the hit. All right, we'll just secure this area, collect up those spirits, and then we can look for a way up. How are we getting up here? <laughs> Not that way, that's for sure. I wonder if there's actually maybe a Tango in the area? Also, oh, there's three shrines in this area we have to cleanse. Well, here's one of them. Or I guess... Not three shrines, but three Tory gates. And that's the first one. Oh gosh, it's two of these ladies. Ooh, this might be a, a tough fight. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna actually be a little cheeky. Inventory. Let's unequip for a minute this and put on flame beats instead. Make our flame just a little stronger for the moment. All right, perfect. Oh, you're kidding me. There's a third one? Oof. Okay, well this one we might have to beat up with just, uh... Oh wait, actually, maybe we can sneak up on it. I don't know if we can actually do a quick purge on it, but... That'd be amazing if we could. We can cleanse the Tory Gate. Go down, go down, there we go. Oh my gosh, look how much ammo it took just for that one spirit. They're just quite tanky, and three of them in a row. Game was testing us. But that cleared a large amount of the fog. Alright, where's our reward? Main hall yearly calendar of events. Let's donate some money. It can show us where more Jizo statues are. We're actually starting to get like a significant amount of cash. People always pray at times like this. Hey, it worked, right? Okay, wait. So there's... This prayer box right here. Is there an actual reward over where the marker is? Oh, they actually want all three of those ghastly knives. We had already collected two of them. I'm glad we could save them. Oh, we can do another prayer box. Show me another Jizo statue. Why not? 
How many are actually in this area? There's four in the area. I've already found one, so it's shown us this one and this one. So, not bad. And we've cleared up all of this area. And I don't think we can go anymore, so this is kind of what the bounds of our map is looking like. There's obviously these couple of shrines down here, but we'll clear those up in time. Of course. this? A Haniwa, earthenware statues and figures produced during Japan's Kofun period. I didn't realize Japan had so many periods. Alright, let's go and check out KK's lead real quick. In there. We'll check this out and that'll probably be the end of the episode. Head for the back. Great. More of these things. Of all the times. Can we get the power back on? Yeah. Breaker should be over past that flashlight. All right, let's prioritize getting the lady in red. These ones hit really hard if given the chance. Oh, wow. They're so tough you can't even actually kill them with the quick purge. It just does X amount of damage to them. Well, goes to show you how tough they are. They can't even be insta-killed. We got spotted, but that's okay. We took out the tankier one at least. Wow, it is like dark dark. Not bad. Any uh, hints on where the power box is? I legitimately cannot see, like, anything. I can see a little bit, but it's, it's pretty darn tough. Saw me. Oh, what's this? Red shoes. A pair of red shoes that would fit a young girl and, in fact, supposedly belong to one who was taken away to a far off land. Alright, I'm gonna head towards the only source of light I can actually see. What's that? Question from new employee. Hey, so I just started here this morning and I had a question. Are the rumors about the fuse box true? I heard somebody got electrocuted and died. Akabeko, a type of folk art hailing from Fukushima depicting a rotund red cow. So that note from the employee, that's probably why there was corruption on this fuse box, if somebody died to it. making things harder for us. <sighs> 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 
Well, I played in hard mode, did everything in the dark, <laughs> then turn the lights on and then face everybody. Take a look. That was Brinko's custom ride. It's quite a nice ride. But what's custom about it? Got some kind of anti spirit tech, from what I heard. In theory, it ought to get us through the fog. How about in reality? Quiet. Give me a sec. <sighs> it won't even start. Of course not. There's no gas in it. Plus, the custom turbocharger is busted. We'll need a replacement turbine wheel to get it running again. The real problem's the fragrant underworld oil. The... what? This is no ordinary bike. It's got the power to cut right through that fog. But to do that, it needs special oil from the other side. And we're fresh out. Okay, so how do we get some? Dunno. You... If you don't know, then what are we supposed to do? Talk to Rinko? Better get that. <laughs> that someone's gonna force their help on us. It's Rinko's ride. Rinko probably knows. So I rig this phone to ring periodically and play back a recording. No need to talk, just listen to my instructions. And voice. It's Ed. You're in the garage, which means you're trying to use Rinko's motorbike. And now you don't know where to find the necessary fragrant underworld oil. I've told you before, KK, but I'm sure you'll have forgotten, am I right? Smart guy. Kiss my ass. You can find the oil in places where the underworld's interference is especially potent. Anywhere you can see it spilling over into our world. This should be readily apparent. Now get searching. Signing off. Any idea where to look? Not yet. Let's find a good vantage point. Scope out the area. Exorcism ad. I have spiritual powers. If there are things troubling you that you can't see, I can help. Call me anytime. Confidentiality guaranteed. Rapid best in class exorcisms. E. Here, e as an ed? Mitake real estate building. Oh, let's. I mean, if we can do it from this payphone, might as well empty out our spirits carried. I went ahead and, uh, I mean, I'm sure you've noticed, but I bought a bunch of the Katashira, or whatever they're called. Do you usually communicate with recordings like that? Yeah, pretty much. Sometimes I'll go a week or more without saying a word in person. One time I wanted to make him talk, so I told him there was a ninja hiding behind him. And did that work? Nope. But later he sent me a 20-minute recording of ninja facts. <laughs> um anyways i bought more of the little angel people things that can hold the spirit so i i think we hit the max amount of 50 they were pretty cheap it was three thousand per and as you saw we're kind of overflowing with cash so 
Object Corruption Research Notes Throughout the world, there have always been objects that people claim bring misfortune to their owners. They call them cursed or corrupted, but scientifically speaking, what sort of changes are actually taking place inside them? It's a subject that I find to be of deep interest. It's easier than you'd expect to come across these kinds of objects in day-to-day -day life. It didn't take much digging at all to find something that immediately sparked my interest. I'd love to research it, but I'm not too keen to test my luck buying it myself. I think I'll send KK to get it instead. If it turns out something is actually wrong with the thing, I'm sure he can handle it. That's the Rinko I know. Never holds back. Would a secondhand shop really deal in something like that? Lots of things end up on their shelves. Most folks wouldn't recognize it. But it's that corrupted. Definitely worth checking out. Alright. We will head on outside real fast. See, I can't tell if we are or aren't close to the end of the game. Rinkos has some serious mods on it, huh? Yeah, those guys are all into that kind of thing. Rinko's really particular. Not just with the bike, either. One time she even built her own cleaning robot. That was mainly because she'd die before she'd pick up a broom, though. Alright, mission complete, Giants. Now on to the Black Tower. Get to the roof of the Mataki Real Estate Building. 158 meters that way. Alright, where's that actually at? It's over here, so... Shouldn't actually be affected by the fog or anything. Cool! Alright, well with that, I think we will go ahead and call the episode there. I know we didn't get like a whole ton done. Um, it was mostly just cleaning up the shrines, but for the most part I've done that off camera. I thought I'll show it this time, you know, let you know what I've been up to off camera. Eh, it, it's something, you know, it fills the time. Uh, we're learning more about the story as we go along. We managed to save Erika. Well, I don't know if we saved her, but we did something. Uh, either exercised her or helped her move on. Uh, I'm not sure how they would classify it in the game, but we helped her out. Uh, we did that, and we found out about Rinko's ride, so next time we'll go ahead and probably look for the oil for that. With that, though, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time for some more Ghostwire Tokyo. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.